Ooh. Does it strike the right note with you? <laughs> well, um, strangely enough, it doesn't seem unfamiliar. No, in what way? It all makes sense. You I can, can what, picture it? You can. Yes, feel I can it? picture it. I can feel it. It just. Um, I don't know, I've always been interested in this lifetime in traveling and looking at Roman ruins and spending a lot of time in the Middle East as well. And there's no real reason for so that. So how much do you know about the spread of the Roman Empire? Mm, I'm, I'm very bad at history. <laughs> I'm better at kind of buildings and looking at things and, and that sort of thing, but dates, years, months, and, and nothing so like that. So you didn't know and haven't known that, uh, that there was the, the, the Jerusalem oh. uprising and that, that, that wasn't something that featured, uh, yeah. featured with you. But does it ring true? Yeah, yeah, it does. And how does that make you feel? I'm getting sweaty palms. It's Are you? Me, yeah, it's a bit unnerving in a way. So you're, you're very open to, yes. to, to, to any of this? I've always kind of studied things like that. I've been involved in many groups. I've had a very long life, you see, I'm very old. <laughs> AD 85, you're pushing it now. <laughs> so I've had a lot of time. You're nearly 2,000 years old. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Cassius, of course, uh, being male, and you oh. saying that you, uh, you're not really a girly girl. I don't uh, think so, no. No, not at all. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not feminine and not... Um, a woman and I don't have all those characteristics but I'm you know I'm sort of a warrior I'm a fighter <laughs> and the uh, the language as well is also uh, is also f uh, fascinating new in karma funara wu nawa new in karma funar <laughs> maybe I didn't have the accent quite right <laughs> <laughs> but but how did you how did you see that that just came out of my mouth yeah how vivid were the pictures that you saw very very vivid. I could see my bare legs, I could see sandaled feet, I could see the ground beneath, kind of a road ahead, kind of walking, and I could really feel having to be there and having to protect the castle and being alone. It was, a, it was an incredible feeling of isolation and loneliness and being far away from everything familiar. Do you think that uh, Cassius or, or anything about Cassius has influenced the sort of person that you are now? I think that um, I think I'm a pretty tough cookie in a sense, not in a bad way, but if I'm committed to something, I will definitely do it until I die. I think if I respect somebody and I'm in service of somebody, I'm very loyal to them. I think that those traits still exist in me. I also, unlike you know some some females, I really enjoy a good um, film with a great bloody battle scene, and I get very excited in it and really get identified with it. Do you think you've learned anything from? this experience? It's sort of interesting in retrospect looking back and hearing yourself talk about you know, the people that you loved and your commitments in battle and what you did and how it felt. I think I learned when you say is there anything like Cassius that you see in you? If you had asked me that a month ago I probably wouldn't have come up with those answers. So I think it's triggered something inside. Well, well, thank you for the moment, because uh, you've, you've heard uh, what Anne thinks. Uh, what do you make of it? Was Anne really seeing a past life, or was it something else? Here's what our experts think. I've no doubt that certain periods uh, in history are more sexy and glamorous than others, and they are the ones, of course, that Hollywood has focused on. How many films about gladiators, Antony and Cleopatra, and so on, have there been? How many films about Mary, Queen of Scots? have there been. And, and these are the kind of figures that people tend to regress to in, in the past life scenario. Amarice's regression was interesting, I think, in three ways. First of all, she was somebody who started out in a, in a very lowly position as this uh, centurion or this Roman and achieved through courage and personal sort of accomplishment a, a, a high level in society or reasonably high level in society. Secondly, it's a very masculine image and I suspect she says herself, I'm not a girly girl. And this does indicate that maybe she felt if she'd been a man in this life, she'd have been even more successful than she has been. And I think the third thing, which, which is interesting, is the fact she set this in a kind of a romantic fantasy in a Middle East country, we're not quite sure where, but maybe somewhere around Egypt or something like this. And this is a very typical romantic illusion created about a past life, which nonetheless fulfills certain aspects of her current life, which she perhaps finds unsatisfactory. Anne's life as the centurion is a classic example of a past life where you've brought positive and negative traits through. Positive being the inner strength and the tenacity to speak your mind, and the negative trait being the sadness to losing the wife so early on in that lifetime, where we've had to cut ties to the sadness linked to her heart and create a healing aspect.
Well, there you go, whatever your take on it. Anne seems to have a vivid and intriguing experience of some kind. So, uh, here's the final question. Uh, do you believe, ha have you been here before? Oh, yes. <laughs> at least, at least a hundred and some times. <laughs> no question. No questions. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Hands up for that. All right, thanks very much. Uh, join us next time for another chance to explore the possibility that we could all have been here before. <laughs>